my name is akshata mistri i am pursuing my mba from sb patil institute of management today we'll discuss about the accounting cost and economic cost first we'll have a look at accounting cost what is accounting cost accounting cost like accounting profit follows the basic principle of accounting in simpler words the accounting cost is overall cost of your business you have paid for these cost include the following rent rent is the cost that is incurred by the uh, incurred by the business for the utilization of workplace or locations for a uh, uh, business purpose or factory purpose next is utility expenses utility expenses includes the cost that is uh, electricity heat wastage disposal etc next are the traveling expenses which includes the tra- transportation and hotels this is these are the expenses incurred by the business for the, for the clients or the customers in the purpose of traveling next is food and entertainment expenses entertainment expenses are those cost which the organization incurred for the client uh, for the meal they provide to the client or the customers and also for the entertainment next is the insurance insurance is the financial protection which minimize the risk of the firm in case of loss by theft loss by fire and loss in transit and any other expenses incurred during the course of business let's move to our next topic what is economic cost economic cost is a step further than typical bookkeeping basic and which is often used by the economists to compare two separate course of action it also look at the impact on each course of action of your on your business Economic cost is calculated by taking the accounting cost which we have already calculated and by subtracting the implicit cost. Now, let's see the difference between accounting cost and economic cost. To understand the accounting cost and economic cost, first you should understand the difference between explicit cost and implicit cost. What is explicit cost? Explicit cost is the total cost of doing business throughout the year. Explicit cost is the normal business cost which appears in the company's general ledger and directly affects in the profitability of the company. Accountant uses accounting cost to determine the profitability and financial health of your business since you will need to understand the determ- determine the accounting cost prior to the accounting profit. What is implicit cost? An implicit cost is any cost that has already occurred but not necessarily shown or reported as a separate expenses. It represents an opportunity cost that arises when a company uses its internal resources towards a project without any explicit compensation for the utilization of resources. This means when a company allocates its resources, it always forgoes the ability to earn money of you the use of resources as well. So there is no exchange of cash. Put simply, an explicit cost comes from the use of an asset rather than renting or buying it. Now let's see the difference between accounting cost and economic cost. Accounting cost uses the standard cost incurred in the business whereas economic cost uses what if scenario Accounting cost is for backward looking whereas economic cost is forward looking Accounting cost focuses more on explicit cost whereas economic cost focuses more on implicit cost Accounting cost is objectively verifiable whereas economic cost is not objectively verifiable accounting cost tells about financial position of a firm and economic cost has its monetary value of all the resources accounting cost is used to make tax payment whereas economic cost it estimates the cost of the alternative sacrifice now let's move to our next topic that is should you use accounting cost or economic cost for your small business you use accounting cost in your business every day bank managers and investors will always look out look at your accounting cost to determine the financial health of your business 
Accounting cost is also used in preparation of income taxes. The real question is whether it's feasible to introduce economic cost as well. It may be useful for a small business owners to use economic cost when making decisions regarding the future of her business, such as when creating financial projections. Using economic cost calculations can also be valuable if you are looking at to the start a new business or expand your current here we have completed our concept of accounting cost and economic cost thank you for watching